Hey guys, welcome back to Big Business Look on a Small Business Budget. This is Jesse Clark, and today I'm going to show you this program called Calendly. It's a free calendar scheduling app where um, you can see here I have it set up on my website where you can just click on a button, it goes to the Calendly website, and you can choose a day and time that you have set up as the owner. And you, uh, clients can schedule uh, an appointment with you and then it syncs automatically up with your Gmail or other calendar apps that you are using. So we'll be right back and we'll get started. So you can see I just added a, uh, a button here on my website that'll take you right to my Calendly app that I've set up with the account. So what you're gonna do is you can just go to calendly.com. Okay, you're gonna set up an account, my account, but I'm already logged in. So you, once you uh, sign up, you can go in here to your account and you can have all upcoming, um, you can set different meeting types. So I have a 15 minute consultation, free online consult, 60 minute training session. So there's uh, different things that you can use looks like what I've activated right now is just one free online consult for 30 minutes just to make it basic make it easy for my clients don't give them too many options so if you know if my appointments go um, over or under that's fine but this is just a place for my clients to choose a, a time to schedule with me so you can go to your dashboard here um, you can go here to calendar connection, share your link. So right here, copy your link, email your link, embed on your website. So what I have is I just have this link right here that will show up and I just use the URL here for my button. So um, it will click on here and just go straight to the calendar. And from here, like I was showing you before, clients can just choose a time and you can see I don't have Sundays open, but here's the times that I've set up. So to set up the time, account settings, you can set this up, welcome, uh, welcome message, um, add a picture. I don't have a picture on here, I should probably do that. My link, here's the URL to my specific calendar. Um, login, this is my Gmail account. Let's go back here. We can go to event types. So let's say I click on here and I can go down and edit. So now, what event is this? Uh, when can people book this event? So it's really self-explanatory. You just go to event types, click on the one you want, and then you can even collect payments on here. So go through all these steps, um, go through the instructions, set it up, and then when you're all done, like I said, you can go and grab the link, embed it, email it, whatever you want. And then you can view what your live page would look like as so. Let's go to uh, integrations. Here's what this can integrate with. Your API, which means you can, um, it allows different API, allows different programs to sync up with each other. Um, Calendly for Chrome, so there's different things you can get into for that. PayPal, if you want to accept payments through PayPal or Stripe, you can go up here to Calendar Connection. You can have um, Gmail, you can change calendar, you can connect Office 365, Outlook plugin, iCloud calendar. So there's several different calendars you can um, connect with. So let's go back here to uh, let's see, let's go to billing. I'm on the free plan. So you can upgrade now and see what availabilities for the pro versions are, the premium and pro versions. So the premium, eight bucks a month or 12 bucks a month. The premium is eight bucks, unlimited event types, remove Calendly branding, which I don't care about, group meetings, uh, team scheduling features, customize your invitees experience, go to meeting integration, Zapier, and priority support. Zapier is another um, third party integration program, which it's another lesson, it's another day, but Zapier is pretty cool. The Pro, um, of course, it's everything in premium, but 
you can have all of these. So that is an option. So far, the free version has worked for me. It may not for you, but you can always upgrade if it does not work for you. So that is Calendly. Okay, there you go. There is Calendly.com. I hope you're able to uh, use this and maybe it's a good resource for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Of course, you can go to my website for more information and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more resources like this. And what else? Uh, that is it. I hope you have a great day and see you next time.